from 41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shaw. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team in home runs and runs batted in. Eduardo Escobar leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, hit the ball in the gaps, or hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Just about ready to roll, and today's starter, Max Scherzer. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. So just about set now, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Leading off tonight for Philadelphia, the designated hitter, Kyle The wide kick the pitch. This is the zone, and we're underway. First pitch, 7 10. Next pitch is outside. Hey. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Pitch misses inside. Three balls and a strike. So here's Scherzer. Strike two. Scherzer deals. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. And that one fouled off. Next pitch oh, is inside. Down. Now two balls and a strike. Hey. That one in for a strike, two and two. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. No score, just getting started top of the first. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. And Joe McDonald says he won a round. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And that's outside. One one now. That's a ball. 
Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Next offering is fouled back. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The wind and the pitch. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the first. And stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. Leading up for the Mets. The second baseman. Yeah. Pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And yeah, the right hander deals. He swings and fouls one off. The one one. That's ball two. Up the middle. Segura throw to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Next pitch is popped up. Hoskins under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Batting third. The center fielder. Starling. Here's Starling Martin. Up the middle. Whips it to first. Marte retired. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. Scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder, Brandon Leading Jordan. For Philadelphia. This guy the is an elite level hitter, Brandon. especially considering Jordan. contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. 
first pitch just misses. There's some players for whatever reasons they seem to just face a slew of right-handed pitchers and their comfort level increased so much they actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Two and one now, Scherzer deals. And now it's even up. Yeah, most guys struggle against the same side, whether it's left on left or right on right, and this guy's an exception. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. That is good. The good job. Trevor Story. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. It's his sixth home run of the season. The Phillies score first. It's 1-0. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? A really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. That is it. The left fielder, number four. Ball First right. offering Nick misses the ball. Castellanos. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. That one miss. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And it's even up. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see. And he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Comes a 2 2. Lifted in the air, right center field. Nimmo in position. Makes the catch. Two down. Batting seven. The first baseman, number 17. Two Reese outs, base is empty. Hoskins. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Next one is off the play. Now 2 0. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Three and one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. 
It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Here's Chris Bryant now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hoskins off of first with two away. Next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. The pitch. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Gene Segura at the plate here. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now one nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Alonso. Right hander back to work. Strike one. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Foul back. Got him. One down. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside, and as you see that pitch Matter continue fair. to run away from you, no, by the time it's in the catcher's mid, you Jay think Jay it's Jay a ball Jay off Jay the plate Jay away. Jay 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 Do you think that's just a statement? Then you loot a Chris like it's word of mouth. What I'm about, excuse me, miss. Like, what's in there? How about we just tone it down? Then go back to now it's JD Davis. I ain't gotta prove nothing now. Pitch misses inside. One and over. Next offering is in for a strike. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. Swing and a miss. Yep. One now one and two. two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Fouled off. He was late. One down, base is empty. Right side. Oh, a great grab on the dot. And that's a great play for the out. Well, that ball off the bat, ticketed for the outfield and a that base hit good. for the hitter, but just that's taken away good. by the diving that's stop. Nice job. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. In there for strike one. Pitch. Strike two. Bringing the cheese on that one.
Righty delivers. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. You can sell it like a fastball, drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. New inning getting started. So here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. The designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Scherzer back to work. That one misses, and that's ball one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is 2-0. Next one misses, and that's ball three. And a four-pitch walk. JT Real Muto steps in. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 no now. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. Schwarber gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Count one and two. Scherzer ahead one and two. High in the air out to right. Nimmo settles underneath it and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting right fielder Bryce Harper. Here's Harper now. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Slap foul. Oh, man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And at first. Now and next will be the cleanup hitter. Brandon, Brandon Jordan. Grounded Jordan. out his first time. in there for strike one. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Swing and a 
the miss. Him out, and that'll do it. Philly strand one, but they hold a one nothing lead. go to the last of the third. Here's Mark Canna leading up for the Mets. The left fielder, Mark Canna. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. And the count one and two. strikes he goes one gone bottom of the third inning been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate three strikeouts in the first game yesterday another time. one right there Francisco. they clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now now up to hit Francisco Lindor Foul ball there. Riding to the plate. Nope. Pitch misses there. And one and one. Tap to first. Hoskins handles the chance. They put the tag on him, and that's out number two. Batting done. The pitcher. James. James McCann in now. <laughs> on the ground. Segura collects, throws the first, and the inning is over. Mets go down quickly. They trail here, one nothing. Back here in Queens, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Scherzer back to work. And downstairs. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next nope. pitch misses. And yeah, that's ball two. That's Next ball. offering is downstairs. Here's a 3 0. And there's a strike. Take it all the way on 3 0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? Next offer finds the zone. The count is four. Back. 
That one pulled foul. And a pitch. Foul ball. Three and two now. And there's oh. ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice play to the left. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. In there, and it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. It usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And that one gets past the catcher. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. In the dirt, but kept close. Story on at first. Nobody out. Right-hander kicks deals. Pitch misses. Full count three and two. And here it comes. Fouled off again. Remains three and two. That one hit to right. Nimmo makes the play, and there's one away. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. offering is down low ball to Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in Scherzer to first story gets back easily and a pitch and he takes a strike Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The next offering misses. And now three and one. The pitch. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Up next for Philadelphia, the third base. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Good power, not great in the OBP department. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot.
in there for strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Ball in one. And ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Kicks and deals. Falling behind two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Here's a two on. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on the lane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. Two out. Code gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, it kind of looked like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Segura stands in but two away as he takes a ball. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. That's a strike, and it's one and two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Coming to strikeouts with runners on, sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out in the end. Welcome back, bottom four, and now here's Jeff McNeil. Leading up, for the pass. The second baseman, Jeff McNeil. The pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes. Next one misses, and it's 3-0. Yeah, now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. 3-0 down. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. And the righty deals. There's a strike. Up the middle. Story picks it up. Not in time. And infield not to start the inning. Good, nice job getting there. Good throw. Right here, but number nine. Very difficult to get Very anybody good. on that one as no. far as he had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. No outs. Runner at first. Brandon Nimmo now at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. left field that's back there and a touchdown off the base of the fence throw comes in runner stop second and third nobody out these guys today are so great with handling velocity they're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around starling Marte up to him 
the center fielder, number six, Sterling. Check swing, he won, strike one. McNeil, the runner at third. Nimmo at second with nobody out. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. That one misses ball. the zone, and the count is one and two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Parker puts it away. Runner tags it second. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, no, he is looking First forward three. to making up for it in his next at bat. Two oh, on one out. Go. Pete Alonso will hit next. First offering misses the ball. Ball one, no strike. This to center field. Jordan under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. It's a sack fly. As he comes across to score, it's 1-1. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. He just couldn't get it to drop in. Now it's J.D. Davis. And Boog, I'd say he's due. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a clean house. Do you think that's just a statement? And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Rudder at second, two down. The one, two. Hit. Nimmo coming home. The tag and that's it. Number three inning over. So it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out in the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job the end of the inning. It's only one man believe. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Leading off, Kyle Schwarber. The designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. And he deals. That just misses. A ball, one strike. Action in the Mets bullpen. Joey Lucchese up and throwing. McGill getting loose as well. Left hand batter waits. And now the count is even. Oh. 
That one lifted to left. Canna sizing this one up. Can't get their base hit. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now it is JT Real Muto. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And it's second. Swings and misses. Oh, and two. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Runner at second. Nobody out. Next pitch misses way outside. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Next offering is foul back. the 2-2. A foul ball, he stays alive. And that one hammered. That's back there. Turning it, looking that it's gone. That one barely got out of here. His second of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 3-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Joey Lucchese. He's into the game with the bases in. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Swing and a miss. One and two. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Escobar racing over to make the catch. The center fielder, number 25, Brandon Jordan. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Jordan. He's a guy who does it all. Late swing, fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Bounce to the left side. And there's two down. He's out. Now back. Flipside. Trevor. Two. two outs. Base is empty. 
So digging in now for Philadelphia, Trevor Story. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a 1 0. And a swing and a miss there. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the third out. But the Bills get two on this blast. It's now a 3 1 ball game. Things change, realize the fame games that are mine. You claim Jane's got to find a new thing for the drive. Hey, word to Nas. I'm shooting. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for New York, Eduardo Escobar. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Escobar. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 1-0. And a foul ball. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Right-hander kicks, deals. So now one and two. Got him. And now one away. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends now to have trouble with. And there's just so Mark. much information in this day and age, yeah. sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. It's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Canna stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Tapped in front of the plate. Throw to first is in time. Just got him on that one. Up, 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 up. Not shortstop. Francisco. Here's Francisco Lindor. Rounded out his first job. We talked about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Francisco Lindor sent it out. His second of the year, and they close the gap. It's 3 2. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Here is James McCann. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. The catcher. First pitch, just misses. And the 1-0. Oh, 
Ball two. Two and oh. That's in there, and that is strike one. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch misses, and a count is three and one. And the tying run is on base. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you the what, run. he Number earned one. that ball. Second base so the lineup flips over. Here's the second base. Jet McKee, one for two. One's in there, 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Righty delivers. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 3 2 ball game. Here at City Field, top six. Here's the left fielder, Nick City Castellanos. The, the left fielder, number four, Nick Castellanos. The line of the pitch. And that's in there. One one. They so always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. A one down. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back. And that one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch to play. The play. Pretty base much base just a textbook field. double into the Reese. gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Here's a big power threat. Reese Hoskins. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. No outs. Runner on second. Next offering is in for a strike. And one and two. So now one and two to Reese. Off the mark there. Two and two. The punch out there. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Chris Bryant stands in for the Phillies. In there for strike one.
kicks and fires. Gonna count one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next offering is foul back. Castellanos over at second, one down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, you, you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non issue. Gene Segura, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next one is off the plate, and it's one and one. And on second, two down. Stays alive. pitch good eye right there well this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat I'm sure there's sometimes where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter get weekly on the ground gathers and throws the first that ends the frame two three four two up in the home half of the six it's the Phillies three and the Mets two Here at the ballpark, where we go bottom six. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And the right hander back to work. And there's the strike. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Left hand hitter waits. They say you win. And the count is even two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's no, not just the pitcher. It's Number other six. guys that have to think about it. From Marlin. your infielders have Marlin. to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a pace hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team come needs out. you to come through. The it's just bigger thing. than your own individual stats. Just a simple oh, ground ball the other way, but you had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now a huge advantage. Yeah, Marte on the move. One -oh. Ball outside. The tag is out at second. Segura drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Mets two. 
we go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. The, the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Luke Casey back to work. There's a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Drew Smith getting loose out there. Castro, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And a pitch. On the ground right side, and it goes just foul. Chases that one out of the zone. And that's the first out. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball right there. And with that okay. kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching run. So up next, JT Real Muto. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Berg, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. First offering misses badly for ball one. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Popped up. Alonso moving under this one. Squeezes it. Two up, two down. The right field, number three. Bryce. Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Bryce Harper to the plate. First offering is fouled off. Two outs. That's down and in. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. A swing and a soft liner. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And that's a two-bagger. Oh, no, that's two-strike hitting right there. He now did that, well just to put the ball field. in play. Just Brand squibbed it the other way sure and beat did. the shift. I'm not sure that's exactly what he was trying to do, but it'll work almost every time with the defense shifted to the pull side. Man at second here with two away. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. center field. Here comes the runner. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. The run comes in to score from second, and they take a two-run lead. Back-to-back -back base hits. Everything now was on time and fluid in shot. that swing. Got a pitch Trevor. you could get the barrel on Ooh. and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Trevor Story now. He launched the solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. Lucchese a move to first. Throws it away. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. That 
that one's in there, 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The 0-1. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out. Not in time. He's safe. The lefty ready and a 1 1. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Jordan stands at second with two gone. Hey. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. That one misses, and the count is filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a payoff pitch. Got it. Down on strikes. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4-2. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now J.D. Davis. Here you go. Let's J.D. And the pitch. That's in there. It's 0 1. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Alvarado. The left hand up and throwing. Dominguez. The right hander also getting loose. Righty to the plate. Strike two. Offering upstairs. Now it's one and two. The pitch. Got him slugging. So he's got deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Now the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And that's in there for strike one. And the 01. Nope. Just one. missed. Look out. One and one. And now it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. now Just guy, disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink Fair of his enough. body. That's his fifth strikeout in the series, and we're just two games in, so hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Canna in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Two down, nobody on. Top of the zone for a called strike. Swing and a miss. 
Yeah, strike two. So impressive how the velo is still there even this deep into the outing. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Down in order go the Mets. Still down by a count of four to two. We go to the eighth. Now here is Nick Castellanos. Leading off for Philadelphia. The left fielder, number four. Nick. And a pitch. Castellanos. Rip towards third. Tosses the first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now battle. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins. So digging in, Reese Hoskins. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here comes a pitch. To the left side, but it is well fouled. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And that's down and away. Stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. Here's a 2 2. Out towards left center. Marte gets under it. And makes the grab. Two away now. And now for the Phillies, Chris Bryant. in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. There's the swing in the win. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting through this inning only down two. Give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And he deals. And the one two misses to even the count. And he chases that one. That's out number three. Billy's put out quietly in the inning, but they still lead this one four to two.
interesting change here. Jose Alvarado trying to protect this lead. Well, I think that what Number makes 46. him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Go the net. That shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Pitch. Lindor in the box again, takes the strike. Next pitch is in the dirt, and the count is one and one. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball two. Two two now. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. You hear people talk that about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example of why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. James McCann up now for the Mets. First One pitch up. is in the dirt. The lefty, the 1 0. That one yeah, missed. Fouls one off, two and two. Got him looking. And there are two down. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two the batters he's faced one. in this one. Getting Second straight, race, straight to work. Man, it's yeah. talked about a lot, but relievers are Must just so be. electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Back to the top of the lineup. Jeff McNeil digs in now. Line drive, base hit down the line. And that's going to get into the corner. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as now the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Brandon. Now, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. First offering, misses the ball. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. McNeil on its second with two down. Next offering in the dirt, two and oh. This one in the air right field. Harper on the move towards the line. And that ends the end. Mets lead one. They trail it here, four to two. Is this redemption for my soul? Back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Drew Smith. He's been so good against lefties. Back here in Queens, we go to the ninth, and digging in for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. Ball one there. The one oh. Hey. That clips the corner. Hey. 
And the right hander deals. Popped up first base side. Takes it in for the out. The batter, the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber now at the plate. First offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. Now one and one. Action in the pen down there. Seth Lugo appears to be getting loose. Castro getting cranked up as well. At the belt and fire. This is inside. The two on. And another ball. And he walked it. Now, JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. In there for strike one. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Right hander kicks deals. Way high. You have a catcher that can throw like that. A pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Line drive, and there's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. The right field. Solid swing from start right. to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now here is Harper. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swag and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And they stop him in third, so base is loaded with one away. Oh, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's a cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Brandon Jordan. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And the righty deals. That's a ball. 
Down to two and Look, one. in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Next offering is fouled back. Schwarber at third. Real Muto over at second. Harper over at first with one away. The next offering misses. And now three and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. You get a walk and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. So the bases are loaded here. One man gone. Here's Trevor Story. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. there and it's 0-1. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. One out. Base is full. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses the first but the runner scores from third. Thought they had a shot at him at the plate. The left fielder of the third, Nick Castellano. Now on the bump, Miguel Castro. Now and he's getting left. thrown into the fire with a Number pair of runners in scoring position. Miguel Castro. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellano. And the first pitch misses for ball one. To third. Zips it across, and that'll do it. Right of the order, three, four, five will get their shot to the bottom of the ninth. It's the Billy six and the Mets two. as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Sam Kunra, and he'll work on holding this lead. Bottom of the ninth, and stepping in for New York, Starling Marte. The Mets in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off there. Need a good at bat out of him right there. And there's a strike movement in the bullpen. Connor Brogdon up and throwing for Joe Girard. Dominguez getting loose as well. And there's a foul ball. Oh, it two now. Lined, and that's a base hit. Nice job of driving that First pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take oh, so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So, man aboard, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. And the first offering is not close. You're going to get something going. This is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Roll to short. Possible two ball. Off balance beat. There's one. On to Hoskins. Double play. Now that, well, that's a huge ball to play, play, play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you ludicrous like it's word of mouth. I ain't new to what I'm about.
Excuse me, miss, like, what's your name? How about we just tone it down? Then go back to where you came from. I ain't gotta prove nothing now. One idea worth a hundred now. So that's down to their final out. J.D. Davis will hit next. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers. Just missed. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. Next one misses, and it's two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can lead to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And your final, six to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby.